thought this was an April Fool's joke because it actually came out recently around April Fool's. But we're finding out that Dylan Mulvaney, of all people, is now sort of the new or at least temporary uh, spokesman for uh, Anheuser-Busch. And this right here will not bode well. By the way, uh, to those Miller drinkers out there, um, I got a bit of a surprise for you guys. Light partners with trans activist Dylan Mulvaney for March Madness. This isn't a parody! Unless Dylan is the one who pulled this April Fool's Day joke. But I'll show you why the evidence indicates that it most likely is real. And what is up, gang? John Claymore here. And we got to talk about uh, Budweiser going, I guess, into a uh, woke direction. Now, I did mention Miller, too. And don't worry, that will be coming up in a second. Because there's obviously something that I need to uh, admit to. Because I did not realize that I was kind of sort of breaking a rule here. Now, guys... I want to say this first and foremost, okay? I do not like this. I do not like this at all. I think that uh, it's really weird how it was that you went from how it was that you went from uh, having pride be one thing on a month, but then again, though at the same time, though now I guess it's right in our face all the time. And once again, it's just showing people more and more and more that the, in the insufferability of the infected. I now refer to the left as the infected. I also refer to them from time to time, even though we're not allowed to say what this right here is. I now infer, I now refer to them as that because really in a lot of ways, that's kind of sort of what they are. Almost like zombies is absolutely weird, absolutely ridiculous. But then again, though, at the same time, though, it is a society that we're living in and we've got to find a way to recapture it and possibly put it back together and possibly save it. Now, guys, who does Budweiser beer mostly appeal to? Now, it basically appeals to everyone, but most people, especially uh, those who are in the uh, white working class, mostly drink Budweiser or Bud Light. Okay, now, I'm not saying that because it's a stereotype or anything. I, at one point in time, drank Budweiser, Bud Light myself, long before this entire nonsense, and I switched to Miller. Now, I may be switching or not switching, depending on the fact that uh, I am actually in the process of trying to quit drinking uh, to Coors or maybe um, Corona, maybe. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Just know that I'm actually trying to quit because I've actually got to wane down in this entire ordeal, which just kind of gave me an additional push, as I'll be explaining in the uh, very next section of this video. Now, guys, here's the thing that you have to understand. Uh, this crap is obviously being thrown in our faces constantly, and you got to wonder if people are ultimately going to, uh, how do I say, drop this product? I'm not entirely sure that they will. However, if there is a massive loss in profit, I am pretty sure that the Anheuser-Busch Company, which, by the way, at one point in time was considered to be a very patriotic company, will ultimately drop this nonsense. As I have said before, the best thing you can do when it comes to wokeness is simply pull the plug, meaning you withdraw completely. You don't even voice the fact that you're boycotting. You don't do that at all. After a while, the overall profit loss will eventually cause these people to come to the table and say, hey, look, what the hell did we do wrong? Now, obviously, these people don't have a lot of self-awareness. They're very, very smug. However, I am pretty sure that there are a few voices within the chat itself that will, in fact, say, hey, look, Maybe we shouldn't have gone this direction. Maybe we shouldn't have gone that direction. And then, of course, you start getting focus groups, and people actually tell you that the real reason why this occurred is because you went the way of the NHL and you chose to go full-on woke. Now, the thing about the NHL, and I've already discussed in multiple videos, I may even leave one in the description box, especially the last one, is that uh, in their case, they're considering uh, quitting the whole thing because it becomes a bit of a sideshow. Beer, on the other hand, is a little bit different. You see, there are multiple types of beers out there, so people can obviously go switch to other ones. They may buy cheaper beer. They may go back and buy a OMB, Old Milwaukee's Best, because it's pretty well cheap. They may buy Paps Blue Ribbon. By the way, Old Milwaukee's Best is a derivative of Miller, and uh, you will see right here why uh, you might want to um, cut that. No, I have not been making paper towels. If that right there is the first thing you were thinking, of course, this is a reference to me wearing a bit of a plaid or a flannel, whatever this is, but I just felt like wearing it anyway because it felt very well, and quite frankly, I like the shirt. Either way, though, we got to talk about this because obviously some errors have been made, obviously, by myself, and you're probably thinking to yourself, why in the world are you saying you made some errors? Well, because it isn't just Anheuser-Busch or Bud. It's the beer that I've been drinking for a long time, and of course, I'm talking about Miller. Guys, let me go ahead and tell you guys something really quick. I must have completely forgot about this. Uh, obviously, I try to practice what I preach, but uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh my God, man, you can't drink Budweiser nor Miller because of what they now represent. Well, let me just go ahead and 
explain it this way here. Today, a uh, tweet was uh, posted by a YouTube channel, a Twitter account, actually a pretty solid account, called Mostly Peaceful Latinas. So I commented and said, well, I, I guess that I was more than justified by drinking Miller Lite for uh, so long. And then she casually reminded me that uh, Miller did the exact thing. Well, here's the thing, guys. I have been trying to quit alcohol consumption for a while. I've actually gotten it down very, very low, almost to the point to where I almost drink uh, more along the lines of either an occasional drink or a very, very low amount. So let's just say that this right here may have been the actual push that I needed to officially quit. And I hope that and pray that my subscribers out here actually hold me to this as uh, I am immediately intensifying my efforts to uh, give up uh, the drink. Fool's Day, and things have gotten so strange in society that it was impossible to tell whether or not the things that people are posting as April Fool's jokes were jokes or just liberals being their usual selves. And one of the things that I came across was this Bud Light can featuring a special edition of the TikTok transgender star, Dylan Mulvaney. And I thought, that's hilarious. A lot of people are going to fall for that because things are almost that crazy. But it turns out that they are that crazy because this wasn't an April Fool's Day joke. It's real. Bud Light partners with trans activist Dylan Mulvaney. For March Madness, this isn't a parody! Unless Dylan is the one who pulled this April Fool's Day joke. But I'll show you why the evidence indicates that it most likely is real. And the fact that it could be real and it could be a parody, and it's really hard to tell the difference, shows how far gone our society is. He posted this video on his Instagram account saying that Bud Light sent him the special commemorative can to mark the one-year anniversary of Dylan dressing up as a woman. And Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! Cheers! To Go think team! To the Anheuser-Busch company would pull this is absolutely ridiculous and absolutely insane. And as I will be discussing in the next video, Obviously, these issues are hitting a lot harder than, uh, than we thought in much, much different uh, ways that we did not suspect. But obviously, we've had this discussion about wokeness. For example, and some of us, quite frankly, forget to do it. I have to admit another error, and I'm going to go ahead and admit it now. In the video that I did that was released on Monday about the media, of course, the Bill Maher Winsome Sears exchange, I forgot to mention the fact, and I really feel bad about this, but I'm going to go ahead and mention it now. How it was that Bill Maher had not even recognized the fact that the drag shows were in fact going on in schools? Obviously, parents are not liking this, but then again, though, you do get some parents who go out of their way uh, to continue to push their kids in front of it. I personally think that you can't blame the drag show person for being who the hell they are. However, you can put blame on the parents for carrying their children to this and actually exposing them to this nonsense. This right here is one of the reasons why I think it is at the end of the day, the consumer will have the final say so. And me personally, I honestly believe that uh, Anheuser-Busch will probably have their asses bitten into over a long period of time because once the message is out there after a while, word starts spreading by way of mouth and people ultimately say, look, you know, I'm just, I'm just not, in fact, I'm just, I'm just not okay with drinking Bud Light or anything. By the way, uh, the former beer of my choice, especially during my partying days was Budweiser. Normally what I would do is drink one or two straight Budweiser's. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, oh, God, how the hell can you drink them? Is Well, the thing about Budweiser is it's always that first beer that you drink is always the only one that kind of like tastes bad. It's almost like it numbs your taste buds. And then the second one, for whatever reason, kind of tastes good. It's just the way I viewed it. After a while, it then became Bud Light, and then I realized that Bud Light actually had more carbs or just as many carbs as Natural Light, another Anheuser-Busch made beer, and then I realized that, you know what, man, maybe I should try switching to a much, much lighter beer. And then, of course, it was Miller Lite. And then I had forgotten that, once again, Miller Lite also went damn near completely woke as well, thanks to the Mostly Latina's uh, Twitter page, a Mostly Peaceful Latina's uh, Twitter page. I now know this and now reminded, which makes people wonder, what are they going to switch to now? Like I said, there are multiple different variants of beer, and maybe this right here was designed to get people to drink more beer that was craft beer. Go spend more money on this stuff, even though I personally don't think craft beer is really any good. And it's mostly just sugar and pure flat carbs. Because most beer, of course, is bread carbs is what it is. Which, by the way, does eventually turn into sugar. So I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of people looking at this right now. And they may be considering sobriety. So maybe it's possible that uh, 
while they may have done this to us and while they may have made a drink that we all love completely woke, there may be some form of backlash in the fact that some people just may quit altogether and they may either A, start drinking another beer or B, they may just say to hell with drinking so, all yes. together. Yes, Anheuser-Busch has officially went woke and of course it will eventually turn into that S word that we are no longer allowed to say here on YouTube, or the second S word, because there's multiple of those that we, quite frankly, are not allowed to say. Now, guys, I know that this video right here was a bit of a more monotone approach. However, I wanted to come at this from a much, much different angle. Obviously, the adjustments that are being made in the channel, especially with certain videos coming out over the weekends that will be a little bit more in project form, much, much longer. So make sure you guys stick around for those. There is one more video that is yet to be done today, and I'll be doing that. And then there's another video that may be done tomorrow night about the uh, impending... Uh, Trump indictment, which, by the way, I've talked about on multiple occasions, and quite frankly, I'm getting sick and tired of talking about. However, there have been some new developments, and I will wait till tomorrow to kind of sort of cover it all. With that there being said, guys, John Claymore. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, sign up in the comment section, and I'll see you guys later.